Hey guys, Rob coming to you again from Karma Comment Chameleon. Today we're doing an Ask Reddit thread. It is, what animal would be cutest if scaled down to the size of a cat? Let's jump right in. Mammoth. Like a little plush elephant. I like it. A tiny cow that would have a high-pitched moo. Me! A mini moose the size of a cat and the antler spread would be about the size of your hand side by side. Years ago, a Canadian friend swore they existed and since they are illegal in the state, she would smuggle one across the border for me to keep as a pet. Ten or so years later, I think she might have been lying. Maybe she's just really bad at smuggling and keeps getting caught. A seal. Ever since I saw the post about how wild seals have bacteria in their mouths and on their skin that cause people to lose limbs, I've been afraid of them. In Canada, we have house hippos. There's not a single person I know who didn't want a house hippo after that commercial. The worst part is we all knew that we could never have them. Hippo needs to shit. Spins tail spraying shit as far throughout the room as possible. Aggressively chases cat. It's probably for the best we could never have them. Throwing my hat in for rhino, regular adult proportions but the size of a cat. I'd buy it bunches of cabbages to eat and the toys would be weeble wobbles that it could just charge and knock over again and again. That's all well and good till you get stabbed in the shin by a 25 pound meat tank. Edit. I would wear shin guards. The humpback whale. Dude, a tiny whale would be adorable. It could do little surface breaches in the fish tank. Alpacas. They're pretty cute already, but a mini one would be even better. My wife has an alpaca plush made of real baby alpaca fur approximately the size of a cat that we got from an alpaca farm. It would be absolutely adorable if it were a real life animal. Elephant. Close call with a giraffe. Bears. What kind of bear is best? Capybara. Wait. A panda. Imagine a little panda you could just carry around on your hip or put in a papoose sling on your back like a baby. So flipping cute. Definitely a giraffe. Imagine it running up to you when coming home after work every day and hitting your balls because of its long neck and small size. That's a pretty weird fetish. Manatee. Sorry. A mermaid cow potato. Christopher Columbus had a thing for them and called them mermaids. I know it's already a cat, but a freaking lion would be so cute. T-Rex. So, a chicken? Can confirm, chickens are cute, except when you're holding them and they shit on your foot. Maybe hens, but roosters are terrifying. Danny DeVito. With his magnum dong. It's about the size of a cat. I'm gonna have to go with bison. After our visit to Yellowstone, my daughter, my girlfriend, and my sister call them buffles and want to snuggle the baby buffles. Little house buffles would probably be perfect for them. Brontosaurus. I am Brontosaurus, much too big to use the Doris. Bronto smallus? Bigfoot. Smallfoot? Just right foot. How come no one said a rhino? Tank puppy, for real. Rhino was my first thought too. You can sort of get one with a Boston Terrier, 25 pounds of pure muscle and tackling love. I think a cat-sized hamster would be pretty awesome, also a sick band name. Frick, it would bite your hand clean off though. Godzilla! I mean, with that atomic breath, I'd say just as deadly. Great for barbecues though. A tiny dairy cow would be adorable and a next level fresh milk serving option at coffee shops and restaurants, kinda like the fresh ground pepper thing they do. A gorilla, just look at the little tyke walking around on his knuckles. Those were a lot of fun, but I think one cat in our house is enough. <laughs> anyway guys, Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon saying thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and share the video to your friends. Have a good one, see you next video.